So, just a few thoughts on um, last night's um, local councillor election here in the, in England. Some interesting um, things have happened. First of all, congratulations to Labour, who gained more than 30 extra seats. Congratulations to the Greens. I think gained four or six seats. I think they now have 170, the biggest ever number for the party. Then the Conservatives, they lost, they lost to Labour, they lost to the Greens. They were able to maintain their numbers more or less. I think they lost a few overall, but they gained almost a hundred they gained almost a hundred seats from UKIP which is actually worrying because UKIP voters are the ones who obviously want um, England to become an island in more than just one sense so they want to be independent of Europe, independent of the rest of the world, they have some strange pseudo ideas of let's take the power back, which I can't quite understand because I mean the power government doesn't have that much power. It's the wealthy, wealthiest of people that have most of the power, I'm afraid. So and those people won't go away. Um, Probably because of the EU, we'll get a few more of those, I would imagine, um, because the EUs are, um, you know, making life a bit more difficult for those people who, you know, have 9, 10, 11, 12 zeros to their wealth. Um, yeah, so the EU are toughening up on um, those type of people. And of course, the the UK will attract them because they will have to compensate the loss of earnings with inviting lots of wealthy people to come and you know be here. But the worrying thing really is that those, you know, the, the, all those. So if it's a hundred seats, there's more than. You know, there'll be 120, 130,000 votes probably that now the Conservatives have from UKIP. And indeed, I mean, the Tories have sort of bargained with that kind of sentiment for the last eight, nine years, um, introduced, you know, more, uh, more right wing policies to make sure they can cream off. Um, the back of the UKIP success from, you know, 2010, 2014. Um, yes, so it's finally paid off for the for the Tories. So they were able to cream off, but it also means they lost more than 100 seats to independents, Labour. And the Greens, thank you very much, uh, Tories. And yeah, I think you should thank UKIP, um, shouldn't you, really, Tory party? Because without them, you'd be a hundred seat down, and you would really worry, wouldn't you? Um, but yes, the what's happened in British politics nationally when a government is down you know when the exit polls are um, down you start a war and then the, you go up in the exit polls so I'm glad um, I think a catastrophe a catastrophic um, result for the Tories would have then resulted in maybe a few extra one you know a few hundred extra bombs in Syria I'm, I'm sure there's another country that the United States would love us to uh, get involved together with them um, for their game of world dominance but yes 
So that's just my interesting thoughts. So now the Tory party is much more UKIP than you would have imagined. So there you go. That's just a few brief thoughts on the local elections of May the 3rd, 2018. Thank you for listening.